Hi guys. So I'm usually not in front of the camera, but today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that's been troubling me a lot. And what's been troubling me is nutrition labels. So whenever you guys go to a supermarket, you would see all kinds of products labeled as sugar-free, preservative-free, whole wheat, and basically claiming that they're extremely healthy for you. But that's not actually always the case. So I wanted to talk to you about how you can. make a wiser decision while stepping into a supermarket as to which product you should buy and which one you shouldn't so i'm going to uh, share with you six simple tips that you can use to do so so rule number 1 look at the back of the pack and not in the front of the pack because the front of the pack is full of bullshit okay so i'm going to give you an example right here so these are digestive biscuits what they claim is whole wheat in all its glory i'm just going to zoom in for you to see so but if you turn the pack you will realize that it's 44% maida refined flour so it's actually not wheat while it's advertising it as wheat and it's actually really really bad for you if you're having these considering that they're healthy so while you're looking at the ingredients also look out for sugars so a lot of brands in order to claim that their products are sugar free actually add sugar substitutes now it's impossible to know all the kinds of sugars that there are so avoid anything that ends with ose any product ingredient that ends with ose is likely to be a sugar so you need to count it in your sugar intake or look it up rule number 3 look up the amount of fat in a product so a lot of companies claim that their product is fat free now the trick here is that in order to make their product fat free they add a lot of sugar to it and that makes it even more unhealthy so not all types of fats are bad for you you should definitely not consume trans fats and you should consume saturated fats in managed quantities but if you're consuming something which has no fat at all it's likely to be very process that it won't be digested by our body really well so in order to give you an example of what trans fats look like on a label i have two products right here in front of me one is this chicken maggi and the other one is lays so chicken maggi it says has 0.11 grams of trans fat per 100 grams and lays seems to have 0.10 grams of trans fat per 100 grams please avoid anything with trans fats i'll be doing a separate video on the kinds of fats that you should consume and the kinds you should avoid but for now please avoid any kind of trans fat point number 4 is stay away from products that have a lot of preservatives and emulsifiers in order to extend the shelf life of products a lot of these brands will add a lot of preservatives and emulsifiers to your food and that will just weaken your immune system cause gut inflammation and all other kinds of problems so just be wary of that and read that on a label and make sure you don't opt for such products so point number 5 is the basic thumb rule of choosing products with the least amount of ingredients because those products happen to be minimally processed and that's what is good for you have more natural food and that's really really the best for you and point number 6 is actually to avoid as much as possible anything that comes out of a packet so if you have whole foods such as fruits and veggies and anything that you're making at home or anything that's in the bakery section of a um of a supermarket it's likely to be better for you uh, than anything that has a 2 month expiry or a 4 month expiry or a 6 month expiry so just so these are the basic tips that you should keep in mind and i hope this uh, video was helpful for you in some way so just let me know maybe i would really appreciate some feedback from you guys and let me know if you want me to do videos on other things so yeah thank you bye